Hey, Maddie here. Long time no see, eh? <laughs> this is actually the longest break I've ever taken from YouTube since I moved to Mexico and started about six years ago. So in this video, I'm going to share where the heck I've been and the long-awaited what is the future of Maddie Gold. But before I dive into all of that, as you may have heard in some of my recent live streams, I've been waiting for DNA test results and they are finally in. One of the big reasons why I came to Mexico in the first place is because I wanted to explore more of my roots. Both of my great-grandparents were born in Mexico which means I am 25% Mexicana, but the rest I don't know, so today we're gonna find out. I'd like to thank MyHeritage for partnering with me on this video. The MyHeritage DNA test is so easy to use. It's a simple cheek swab which takes just two minutes. It covers over 2,000 geographic regions, which is more than any other test. While you're waiting to get your results back, you can use their photo enhancement tool to bring old family photos back to life, like this one of me and my sister. So. The results are in, and this is going to be a completely blind react. I have no idea what I'm about to see. Am I ready to explore my ethnicity? Let's go. Okay, 68% North and West European. 19.3% Scandinavian. Uh, 8% Mesoamerican and Andean. And 1.9% Native American. Wow. No, oh, there's more, there's more. And 2.8% of two more ethnicities. Wow. The almost 20% Scandinavian. I was not expecting that in the slightest. Okay, so to break down these results, we've got North and West European, which includes German, French, and Dutch. That somehow makes sense to me. People ask me if I'm German and French all the time. The Scandinavian, that really threw me for a loop because nobody in my family has ever mentioned anything about Norway or Sweden uh, or Denmark. So it also very interesting. And I did know, I mean, this, this makes sense, the Mesoamerican and Andean. Uh, that says people of pre-Columbian roots, including Mayans, so that is perhaps where uh, my Mexican comes in. And also Native American and indigenous Amazonian. This is so interesting. Whoa, hold on. Of the other percentage that it didn't say, 1.4% is West Asian. All right, I'm quite the cocktail. <laughs> And you too can buy a DNA test using the link in the description below and in the pinned comment. And also you can use the code MADDIGOLD for free shipping. As a bonus, you can start a free trial of MyHeritage's best subscription and you can enjoy a 50% discount if you decide to continue using it. Okay, back to the video. So why did I take a three month break from YouTube? Well, you may have heard the phrase, when it rains, it pours. I was experiencing burnout from burning the candle at both ends, trying to keep this Maddie Gold train plugging along. I was diagnosed with PCOS and endometriosis, dealing with major headaches related to taxes, which were outside of my control, processing another breakup, trying to deal with a barrage of life in Mexico difficulties, learning that my dad will need open heart surgery soon, and facing the struggles of still not having a car. And that's just to name some of the big things. It basically got to a point where I was feeling like, despite my best efforts to stay positive, handle each situation as it came up and overcome these difficulties, I basically felt so exhausted, so defeated and so overwhelmed that it got to a point where I'm like, I think the only thing I could possibly do is take a step back from Maddie Gold and social media and everything and everybody to try to figure out what on earth is going on in my life that's turning it into this series of unfortunate events. So the days started going by in this break and one quote kept sticking in my mind. It kept popping up. Albert Einstein famously said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Now, I knew that after the end of my five and a half year relationship, 
things were gonna suck for a hot second. Breakups are super messy. I had a business with this former partner of mine, uh, which meant that when I sold my half of the business, I had to start a new one. All of that is just pure chaos uh, while trying to deal with everything that you would normally deal with after a serious breakup like that. So I understood that there were gonna be some rough times for a while, but looking at the bigger picture, it's been two years since that breakup and life still continues to feel ridiculously difficult for seemingly no reason. And and it's been a long time since that breakup was the primary cause of distress in my life. And when I say things are difficult, I literally mean across the board. Everything from trying to buy a car in Mexico and running into issue after issue after issue with that. And also major things like safety issues, dating, moving cities to try to find the right fit for me, etc, etc, etc. The list goes on. And I have truly tried to make every possible healthy and productive tweak, change, adaptation that I possibly can to feel safer, more fulfilled, um, supported, happy, content, just anything that would shift the dynamic that my life has been. And all of those efforts have been fruitless. I was just spinning my wheels and nothing was really changing. Yes, we all deal with rough patches and honestly, I kind of thought that was what was going on here, but I have reached that point of insanity where I think I have to admit that I've been trying the same thing over and over and over and over again and expecting different results and that's just insane. <laughs> Thankfully though, the solution is actually very simple, but it's something that I didn't want to explore. I didn't want to admit that this might be the solution because a part of me felt like it would be me failing or giving up. But in reality, that's so far from the truth. I haven't failed at anything and no matter what happens, I'm not giving up. In fact, the past six years in Mexico have been absolutely phenomenal and life-changing. I've done more incredible things in this country, traveling around and making over 400 videos, two YouTube channels. I've become fluent in another language to the point that I can have entire relationships in Spanish. That's incredible. This has been the wildest journey and I think more than many people get to experience in their entire lifetime. <sighs> However, I see now that this adventure, this chapter in my life, has gone far past its expiration date and it's time for me to start the next adventure. So now, I know this is going to be kind of shocking to hear and honestly, I didn't think I was going to be saying anything like this because I plan to live pretty much the rest of my life in Mexico, but the plan for now is that I'm going to be moving back to Phoenix for a couple big reasons. One, which I mentioned at the beginning of this video, my dad is going to have to have open heart surgery soon and I have not spent, I, I mean, I, I love my family and I miss them so much. I get to see them maybe twice, maybe three times a year and that's not enough. But also, I think going back to Phoenix and being around my family is going to give me the best opportunity possible to figure out what this next chapter is all about. Now. Hold on, hold the phone, don't go anywhere yet because what I'm not saying is this is the end of this channel. I'm not done with Mexico, I'm not done with Maddie Gold. While I'm still here and until that move, I will be continuing to make videos. For instance, my experience dating in Mexico, Dia de Muertos, my mom and a friend are coming down to visit me for that, so that should be a hoot and a half. <laughs> I'll be going to a couple music festivals and also recording more of my daily life in Mexico. And, even when I go back to Arizona, the great thing is, Arizona is actually the uh, vecino, or vecina, or states, ah, vecino. It's the neighbor to Mexico, so I'm relatively close and I do plan to take some road trips through the free zone, which would mean I could bring a US plated car with my permanent residency and not have any issues there. Uh, as I mentioned in the live stream, that's why I couldn't buy a car and bring it down to Mexico is because of permanent residency conflicts. But also, I still plan to travel in Mexico. I have friends here, I love the country, uh, the culture and the food and everything. I just don't think living here anymore is the right situation for me. Because my channel will naturally evolve in the future, I would love to hear in the comments below what do you think in terms of videos you might like to see in the future, specifically some that may not be as Mexico focused. Drop a comment and let me know. 
Now, on the screen is a video I made in Oaxaca, one of my absolute favorite experiences I've had in Mexico to date, so you can continue watching until I release my next video. And one more thing before you go. Gong that bell so you get notified the next time I release a new video, and I hope to see you there.